What is up guys, here with us your boy Kagi back at it again with the new video. In this video, I bring you the brand new update for Pixels, ladies and gentlemen. In this brand new update, you're going to be able to earn some tickets. And with these tickets, you're going to be able to redeem, potentially, the brand new pets for Pixels. So I'm going to give you all the details of this update. It's coming very, very soon, October 30th. So this video should give you everything you need to know, even after October 30th. You should have a pretty good understanding with this video. Let's jump right into it. All right, before we get started, make sure you hit that like, make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment down below. What do you think about this video? What do you think about this game? And also make sure you guys join our Discord link in the description. If you guys want to be part of a gaming community and head into the bull run with the right people, we got you, baby. Join the juice team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first things first, where is this update going to take place? This update is going to take place up here. If you go to Terra Villa, it's going to open very, very soon. It's called the Carnival Event. So, yes, it's going to be like a little carnival. And let's jump into it. Let's see how it's going to look. Let's see the mini games that we're going to be able to play and how to get those tickets to redeem some of those pets and some of those rewards. How are the pets going to work? What are the pets that we're going to be able to claim? Um, and then we'll jump into how we claim those pets, okay? Basically, how pets will work. Pets will be... In an inflationary nft collection but what we've done is basically we'll be doing drops of pets almost every month um and this is going to be the genesis drop of pets so if you look at this genesis pets collection we have the dino type that we just released and what we're doing with the dino collection is there's only going to be now 125 of these ever minted of this type of pet they said 125 i did talk to the team they might be considering um doing a little bit more pets for this um event we'll see if that goes through i'm not really sure but it might happen so if you're watching this video this might have changed by then all right, what we're about to see right now are the different pets that they're going to release in the future. Now, you can see some of this in the Mavis marketplace. You can see some of the imagery, and you can also see it on Twitter, a little bit of that. But right here in game, we can see some of those pets that they will release in the future. So we have different pets like sheep, cows. Um, there's some really rare ones that you'll be able to get in the future as well, too, like these unicorns. The main way to get pets, besides this play to mint in the future, will be through the pixel token. So basically the plan with future releases of pets, if you wanted to get this unicorn pet, if you wanted to get this sheep pet, is you'll have to mint them in the pixel token. But this dino collection, this dino genesis, only time you'll be able to mint them, um, this will probably be the most rare pet collection that we release as well too. 100 will be available through this play to mint and through this carnival promotion. About roughly three per day will be minted, but we're gonna be basically giving away 100 over the 30 day period. All right, so now we're about to see how to get the tickets, how to get into the mini games, uh, how these mini games are going to work. So if you look right now, we have four tents that are going live right now. Um, and that means four different mini games that you can be earning tickets. And that part of the AMA, there's a lot of talking. Uh, obviously, it's one hour long. So basically, there's going to be four mini games, And these four mini games are going to go the following way. We got the left, right. This one is the side that has the least amount of players by the end of the timer wins the ticket. So basically, your goal is to be in one of these circles with the least amount of players um, by the time the, the, the timer ends. If you are on the side that has the least amount of players, then you get tickets on this one. Then you also got beat the crowd. So essentially every 12 hours is going to be a session. So this is kind of like a community event. Um, everybody wins in this. Um, but if we beat ourselves in the community, every time we go into a session and we have more players, we go on a streak, right? As a community. So if today the first session we do 15 players and then the next one we do 20, then we get more tickets in the second session. And then in the third session, if we beat ourselves, if we get less players inside the sessions um, and we break the streak, we go back to five tickets. So it's going to go five, 10, 15, 20. So the more players uh, there is in each session, then we get more tickets, basically. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea. Then we got Bump a Grump. This one, you got a timer and you get to hit all of these pumpkins um, and you have a timer as many as you can hit. That's going to give you the amount of tickets that you can claim. And then the last mini game is going to be Corn Maze. This is basically a maze. And by the end of the exit, you're going to be able to claim some tickets. I think you could do it three times a day. Um, but it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, just a maze. Some of the trees go up and down. So yeah, basically that's how it's going to work. 
All right, so those are the four minigames that we have, but there is two other game loops, and this requires seeds. There's some vending machines where you can get some seeds every single day, and when you plant them and you harvest them, you have the ability to get some tickets as well. So it's another game loop. It's not really a mini game, but it is another game loop. One that is familiar with this game, obviously, because this is a farming game as well. So we've got two new crops coming out with the carnival and every single day you can come here and collect seeds. And then if we go to the other side, you can get cotton candy seeds. Um, these two crops, they only work on the the carnival map you can't use them anywhere else at the moment they will randomly drop tickets we might be dropping some other utility for them there are a few crops in the regular game loop as well that drop some tickets so stay tuned for that one so now as you can see they have some tickets down here on the bottom right there's going to be three trailers where you can claim different rewards we're going to jump into it and let's see what those rewards are all about all right You'll see on the left, there's a goose trailer. In the middle, there's a pet trailer. And on the right, there's an apiary trailer. So we have the goose trailer on the left. The top mm -hmm. prize, you can win a winery. So the winery industry up to this point has only been available in Terra Villa on the public lands. Over the 30 days of the carnival, 30 wineries will drop from the goose trailer. The apiary or the bee trailer is going to give away five apiaries over the course of the 30 days. The pets trailer in the center will be giving away 100 pet coupons that you will then go take to a vending machine and mint, which we can talk about as well. You go into any of the trailers, you have your tickets, your carnival tickets, and you place them on the counter. Now you're not necessarily going to win. Now no Except one is. I just, I yeah. just want a pet coupon. <laughs> okay, so now they're going to walk us through the minting process. So if you want a, a pet coupon, there's a little bit of a process. You have to get a machine, you got to put it in your land, then you have to basically, uh, you know, there's a little process, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool process. So let's jump into it. Let's see. Yeah. So if you get a pet coupon, what you'll do is you'll take the uh, pet coupon to the store. So yeah, the pet store in Terra Villa is just down here. So, so you place your coupon on the capsule vending machine. So if you go to the pets dialogue in the top corner, the little paw print, your pet will show up here. So obviously he's hatched his pet already, but Yours will be a pet capsule. Notice it's a pet capsule. It won't be a pet. So if you take a look at my pet, you'll see that it's very maxed out in strength um, rather than some other traits. And that's because um, we introduced the concept of potions a while ago. And I'll go over to my land now and kind of show you the process. Is you'll have to talk to Kirby and you'll have to buy a growth lab kit onto your land. You can do this on a spec, you can do this on NFT land, but you can only grow a pet on your own land. What you'll do when you have the growth lab is you'll have to fill the growth lab with a bunch of potions. So if you look, I have 22 Jumbo Strength potions in my growth lab right here, um, and I'll have to fill it with 30 potions in order to hatch my pet. So here they're going to show us how to create potions. You can actually create potions right now. You don't need to wait till the event. I uh, have actually been creating a lot of potions. It's pretty simple. You put a bunch of ingredients into the table. Um, you have one minute to put all these ingredients and then you get a potion back um, after you put those ingredients. You don't really know what you're going to get. The combinations are not really that clear. Um, people are kind of um, theory crafting right now, basically just throwing a bunch of different ingredients to see what combinations are best. Um, but yeah, we're trying to all figure it out as a community. Some people might have the formula out there and they might be holding on to it. So yeah, you have a minute to put as many ingredients as you can into the potion table. And after a minute, you'll get a potion back. Um, and we're not going to spill all the guts. We're not going to spill all the beans, but basically the more stuff that you put in and the better stuff that you put in, the higher chance that you have of getting a large or jumbo potion. All right, so the last thing is pet foods. Uh, if you want to craft your pet food, you would have to go to one of these grills. Um, you should be able to place one of these in your lands or go to somebody else's lands and use the grills. That's going to increase your pet's happiness, and that's kind of like the, the game loop there with your pet for now. That's like the initial game loop. Just you know, make your pet happy. They all make pet food, but the submarine sizzler and the galactic grill are quite a bit better. 
Um, they have about the same recipe, but they output more. Like if you look into the pet, we have streaks. Um, it's like the longest feeding streak, the longest watering streak, all of that kind of stuff. And that'll play into things as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the video. If you guys want to farm, make sure you guys head to my lands. I'm going to leave my lands down below. Also, make sure you join the Juice Team Discord, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to be part of a Pixels community, a Pixels Guild, make sure you join the Discord down below, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next video, next stream. I stream every single day, so make sure you catch me in my streams. Much love. Bye-bye. Peace.